Meow, 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 meow. Everybody, I'm Cantonese Cat. Hey everybody, Cantonese Cat here. This is the monthly chart market strategy. For those people who don't know my system, I generally like to look at one indicator called the Ichimoku Cloud. The Ichimoku Cloud is available in Trading View. You can pull this up on your own. And I don't change the default setting because I don't like to change the default setting to fit what I think it should fit. When you put up the cloud, you're going to get these lines as well as the cloud over here. The lines, the blue line here represents what we call the Tenkan line or the conversion line. The conversion line basically serves as support during a bull market and it serves as potentially resistance during a bear market. As you can see, for about a year and a half or so now, we've really flipped the Tenkan from resistance over here to support and it's been pushing price up higher. And the red line over here is called the Kijun line. The Kijun line is also known as baseline, it's lagging. So when you have a leading line, which is a conversion line, or the Tenkan crosses above the lagging line, which is the baseline, also known as Kijun, you have a bullish Tenkan Kijun cross right here, which happened on the monthly in December 2023. When you have a bullish cross over here, it can potentially precipitate a further bull trend that can last anywhere from 6 to 12 to 18 months. And it's looking pretty good so far. Right now, price to spend a couple months underneath the Ichimoku local cloud as resistance cloud can potentially serve as support or resistance in this particular in this particular case because we're trying to break above of it so this is resistance we spent about two months got rejected price went from like 700 all the way down to like 450 very, very brutal over here but eventually we're able to slice it for like butter and we got up here form a nice bull flag and we consolidated for about three months or so and we found these ticket and kitchen lines are down here as support and it looks like we're ready to potentially bounce higher because we've consolidated enough this is still a very nice bull trend higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and looking like we might be looking to form a higher high soon so that's the ichimoku cloud there's also another cloud that's called the super itchy cloud this is a derivative of the ichimoku cloud that takes into account of the super trend which is a volume based indicator so it has a little bit more volume data on here and usually with the super cloud things look a little bit more thin but it tells you a very similar thing here bullish cross on december 2023 resistance up here at the super cloud was able to break through slides for like uh, like butter it kind of balanced find, find support here to take in the kitchen line and looks like we're ready to go up here again I just want to introduce you these things so that you know exactly what I'm talking about in case if you're new to my system. I'm going to put up the Bollinger Band here. If you look at the Bollinger Band, it tells you a few information. The middle line over here is, is, the, um, med uh, is the median line. In this particular case, this is a monthly chart. It's going to represent the 20-month moving average. 20-month moving average is very nicely pointing up over here, signifying a continuation of the bull trend. You can see the Bollinger Band has the upper Bollinger Band here and the lower Bollinger Band down here. They are expanding. When things are when things go sideways for a while, they contract, and when they contract, basically it signifies that there's going to be a potential big move coming as it expands. And depending on where the prize action is located, is on the upper part of the Bollinger Band, then price is probably going to end up pushing up higher. This is exactly what my strategy is doing. If the price is underneath the um, the median line over here, if it's underneath below, then there might be a potential downtrend and. This is not the case for my strategy. You can see how nicely Bollinger Band is expanded. The lower Bollinger Band has been expanded all the way down to the negatives. I can't even find it. It's like all the way down here. So you can see that this is a very, 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 very powerful bull trend that is being developed. Usually during a trend exhaustion is when the lower Bollinger Band really comes back from the negatives, come back to space. And that's when you really start to worry about potential, you know, um, trend reversal. Um, you know, but, but sometimes it can be a little bit delayed. It was a little bit delayed during the last cycle in terms of coming back for market strategy. What you're seeing here though is that Bollinger Bank continue to expand. Looks like the Bollinger Bank wants to continue to just keep on going up higher. And I think most likely it's going to end up riding the Bollinger Bank to continue to go higher over time. Although I do see for market strategy, unlike some of the other Bitcoin miners, I do see some potential signs for a little tiny bit of exhaustion, not too bad. You can see a little bit of deceleration of the 20-month moving average. You can see a little bit of deceleration of the orange band expansion. But these things could just be temporary. Most likely, it's probably going to end up going higher. Right now, the early bull market is going to serve as a little bit as a magnet over here. The upper bullish band is going to ride up a bullish band upright. And sure enough, this month so far, we've kind of touched the upper bullish band. Right now, we're above the upper bullish band so far. And I like how my strategy has been kind of closing no more than two months about the upper bullish band. So, and you know, I followed by a correction. So, so far, it's not really like a really, really worrisome trend exhaustion, unlike the last cycle when you have bam, 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 like five, six different 
months of just closing way outside of the balloon band, followed by this big giant with above signifying a lot of exhaustion. We're not really seeing that over here so far. I think we're actually seeing some very, very nice expansion, most likely some continuation moving forward. How do I also um, think that that's the case? Well, another thing to look at here on the monthly chart is you have a indicator over here, which is called MCDX Plus, is available by Turtle Trader. And this over here basically is using algorithm to try to estimate the percentage of the owners to potentially be whales, which is gonna be in the red. If it's more whales than not, or they're very strong whales, usually these are gonna be very, very bright red. If it's a little bit weaker whales, generally these become more pink. Same thing up here, the yellow is a little bit meaningless. So it is basically signify that they are um, traders, that they're short-term traders. Blue generally, or in, in this case, you know, light green here generally signifies as retail. Heavy retail signified by dark green. This system over here is called MCDX Plus. And the master of using this is really my friend Danny Chang. You can follow him at Danny Chang 2022. He has a lot of really nice charts that's available at his Patreon. If you want to check out his stuff, it's really good stuff. He has some really good nice buy and sell signal based on these whale data. And it's it's very, very nice to look at. So I just want to show you a basic system here, and I'm just gonna go speed through all these charts really quick, just in case you haven't looked at my system before. Now in terms of the two-week chart, I'm going to put up the Ichimoku cloud over here. You can see it's serving very, very nicely, bounce from Ichi, that's our bounce of this Ichimoku cloud taken in the kitchen line over here. Looks like it's more a nice pull, looks like it's ready to go up, right? And if you pull up the Subichi cloud, you're going to see a very, very similar phenomenon. It's just bounce above the tick in the kitchen line. It looks like it's ready to go up higher. It looks like we already have, you know, plenty of consolidation over here. On a two-week chart, you can see whales are really predominant. You don't even have much trader. I think there are a lot of whales who are just ready for it to go higher. You don't even have a whole lot of retail, really, like nothing, right? So all of this are very good. So you look at a weekly chart, you can also see that for a week of um, currently just have, you know, about two, two, two trading days so far, you don't really see any retail, nice, very dark red can over here. So there's a lot of whales being in like a strategy right now. And very, very nice bull flag. I'm gonna pull some of the other indicators here, the Ijimoku cloud. Again, above the tick in the kitchen, it looks like it's just ready to go up after bouncing back testing some things. CPG cloud targeting the same thing. And if, if you look at a bull in Japan, it looks like actually it looks like there's a little bit of contraction over here, right? It looks like there might be ready to kind of push, uh, potentially move up higher, whenever that would be. And another thing I want to show you on weekly is the bull market support band during a healthy bull trend is going to try to use the bull market support band that's uprising as support because it's going to bounce out of support, support, support to try and push the price a lot higher. You actually want this kind of back test of the bull market support band because if you don't, try and get exhausted very easily. You see how during the last cycle of the strategy span about six months, not even touching the bull market support band and when it got exhausted, it got exhausted, right? So far, we're time kind of taking breaks. We're running a marathon, not a sprint. And it's been going up very, very nicely so far. So that is a uh, you know a lot of the indicators from my strategy. I do want to pull up another thing over here, which is going to be the GAN. Now again, the way that I draw the GAN square, a lot of these lines over here they're going to serve as potential support or resistance. I don't do a very good job with GAN. If you really want to truly learn the mathematical way to draw the GAN square, to see how you can look through support and resistance through time. And it's very magical, actually, with the GAN system. You actually don't think that there's any price exploration, per se. A lot of the resistance and support has already been beat predetermined, kind of like the Fibonacci levels over here. If you really want to truly learn how to do it the right way, you should follow my friend, the great Maspie over at X. The um, handle that he has is Matthews13. And he has a course that is available for you to learn how to you know, really, truly draw these things. For me, I'm more looking at like an eyeball method. I try to see... Um, whether or not my um, my drawing can potentially fit the cycle through time, and also want to tr uh, try to get these uh, curves over here to touch as many points as possible as potential resistance and support. And this is a GAN square that I came up with basically um, for each cycle, it tries to break about these arcs and tries to break about these horizontal lines over here to try to get to the next level. Whenever it gets exhausted, that's when I try to back test some of these things down here, including the um, the arcs, including the angles, including the horizontal zone over here finding support before bouncing back up again and challenge some of the lines, angles, and arcs all over again. So you can see that this actually is a very, very nice fit, right? Like it probably it challenges um, arc over here, got over the arc, challenged this horizontal line over here, got over the horizontal line, challenged the next arc over here, 
getting over the arc and right now it just went directly through this arc up here got rejected back test his horizontal line looks like it's about to challenge this arc over here yeah you know once it's able to challenge this arc over here where it's going to go probably going to go up higher but where you where's it going to go maybe like three thousand is going to be three thousand four hundred is going to be like the next level after it breaks it over the arc now again i do want you to be a little bit careful because we are at a lot of resistance over here this is the arc over here which can potentially serve as resistance we haven't even broken through it yet They're around 18 50 or so is going to be resistance around the 1.618 level which we got rejected last time you know, around 2050 or so is going to be resistance so 1850 2050 and then also the top of the arc over here around like 2300 all these can actually be resistance over here once we break for all these resistance probably going to be getting up to around the um, three uh, 3200 uh, range up here um, all the way to like 3400 range up here you're going to have another resistance level over here if you're able to break through this resistance further, the cycle might end up ending at some of the higher Fibonacci levels, four or five thousand, or even potentially end up these arc up here around you know 2025, which might actually be confluent with these uh, Fibonacci level over here. If the cycle ends in like July or August or somewhere like that, you might end up hitting some of the arcs up here, and that's when the cycle ends. Yeah, that's when you're gonna have a pretty significant correction over time, right? So far, that's kind of what it's looking like, you know. And uh, if if you ask me, I think there's gonna be a lot more bullish continuation. Again, whales are still in. All of this looks very very nice so far, right? So that's Michael's strategy. I'm gonna use the same system to talk about a lot of the stocks, trying to speed through them all, right? Going back to the monthly chart over here, and this is Coinbase C O I N. With COIN, I'm going to put the um, Ichimoku cloud here. You can see a very nice bullish Tenkan Kijun cross over here in February 2024. And price has just been up above the Tenkan Kijun lines over here. Very, very nice support down here, hitting a little bit of resistance zone over here on the horizontal. Um, if you look at the volume shelf, you can see that there is a lot of you know horizontal resistance up here is trying to push over. But um, basically, that's what um, Coinbase is doing so far. But so far, it's just got way too far away from the technical kitchen to just kind of cool down your formalized nice bull flag to cool down some of the indicators. I think it will cool down enough. I think it's probably going to end up challenging the area over here around 280. It's last time when we got rejected. Probably going to go up higher from here on out. And just like I, I, I mentioned, that whenever the price got up here, I think it's going to consolidate anywhere from one to three months. Exactly doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. Now, Subishi Cloud, very similar information. So you, you bet we don't have the bullish cross here on like Michael's strategy, but Tenkan has been flipped from resistance over here to support and it's grown very, very nicely bounced out of support so far. And because of that, it's probably gonna go higher again, 280 or something like that. It's gonna be resistance zone, which is where the kitchen is located. And it's very, very nicely ranging right now. I think we need to break about 280 to go higher. That's what it's telling me. If you look at the bull in Japan, again, price got way too far, way too fast above the bull in Japan on the upper side. And it's a cool down for a month close inside of Olympia Band for two months in a row. So far, the month of May, oh, sorry, the month of June, looks like we might be ready to gravitate back over to the top of Olympia Band and the top of the range over here. So probably going to go up to like 260, 280. We'll see whether or not we can push through for the month of June. If it does, it'd be wonderful. We do have a nice Bollinger Band expansion. So most likely this is a very powerful bull trend. It's probably going to end up continuing to expand a lot higher over time and we'll see what happens 20 milligram is still nicely pointing up so we'll see what happens if you look over at the mcdx plus you see plenty of whales coming up here very strong whales too as retail continue to diminish in terms of percentages you have a very very nice you know whaleish momentum if you will looking at the two week chart here pulling up the ichimoku cloud you can see how porn base is just bounced from the top of the ichimoku cloud on two week looking like it's ready to go up higher it looks like the whale data also supports that there's a lot of increase in whales so far for these two weeks and there's not really a whole lot of retail left so that tells me that there's a lot of room for it to potentially go up a lot higher if i put up the Subishi cloud to kind of look and see it's stuck inside the cloud still and it needs to break above what around like 270 to 80 or so right very confluent resistance zone over here and once it breaks above that i think it's going to go a lot higher and so far it looks like price is basically back testing the kitchen and tanking line down here finding support probably going to go up higher telling you the same thing essentially if you look at a weekly if i just pull up the Shimoku cloud you can see price got back above the tanking looks like it's ready to go up higher right if you put the um, Subichi cloud you see the same thing price got above the tanking up here ready to go higher 
even though the whales are not bright red, it, there's really not much retail left here on the weekly. Looks like it's probably going to go higher based on what I'm looking at. If you look at the Bollinger Band, looks like it's contracting, so it might be precipitating a bigger move coming forward, maybe over the next few weeks or so. The bull market support band has been nicely tested on this way up. Very, very healthy bull trend. Okay. If you look at the GAN, we're going to see here with the GAN, again, this is my best fit model, so it's not a mathematical model or anything like that. But what you're seeing here is just been really breaking arc, testing things, you know, testing angle here as support, breaking for those arc, testing top of the arc here as support. Looks like it's ready to go up. The next stop's probably going to be around like, you know, um, high. 300s or even 400s in around here, or even low 400s over here. Maybe the bottom of the arc is going to serve as resistance. Maybe it's going to consolidate down here. Maybe it's going to break inside the bottom of the arc and it's going to consolidate inside the arc here before going up higher if it ends up having no exhaustion and if it ends up having a bullish continuation. If you're able to break above the arc in 400 zones all the way up to like 500, then you're really talking about potentially hitting this angle over here and also this arc over here. That could potentially serve as resistance and that could be the end of the cycle. It could potentially hit the 2.618 level over here around 1,000. That could be where the cycle ends or the cycle could end a lot lower down here. But it looks like overall based on data that I have, based on what I just showed you with the Ichimoku Cloud, with Bull Japan, with Bull and Support Band, looks like it wants to go higher at least to challenge the 400 or 500 zone over here, which is probably going to be the next target. Now, that is going to be Coinbase. We can look at another stock that's going to be crypto related here, which I don't generally lump together with these uh, crypto stocks, but I'm going to talk about this here anyway because I think it fits. Robinhood, the ticker symbol Hood, H O O D. If you look at the Shimoku Cloud, you can see it's very nicely bullish cross over here in February 2024. And price has just been staying about the tank in the kitchen line, about way above that without any problems. So the Ichi Cloud, tank is flipped from resistance, potential resistance here to support. It's just been nicely looping price up higher. You're probably gonna end up getting resistance up here in the 32 zone with the Kijun being up here. Um, the other thing is the Bollinger Band. You can see Bollinger Band has been expanding like crazy. Again, this is a very, very nice bull trend. The crocodile has opened its mouth. The tongue is pointing up. This is a very, very nice bull trend. Most likely it's gonna be a continuation moving forward. And what you're seeing here is price was finally able to close underneath the up a bullish band in the month of April and it couldn't wait to break out and so far you've been breaking out and so far the up a bullish band which is going to be around 20.54 is going to serve a little bit as a magnet but as the bullish band continues to expand I think price is going to go up a lot higher the next big resistance is probably going to be around like 30 or so based on and I'm going to pull up this again so it'll show up it's okay but it's probably going to be around like the low 30s up here it's going to be the really the next big resistance zone is what I'm thinking. If you pull, um, if you look at the uh, MCDX below, MCDX plus below, you can see that retail has really been lower and lower in percentage, and whales have been slowly, slowly increasing. And there's these bright red bars down here. Looking at a two week chart of the Ichimoku cloud, you can see that it's been about the tank and kitchen. It looks like it wants to hit to above the cloud over here at some point. And it looks like it wants to break into the cloud or just through the process of time itself, eventually it's going to break through the cloud and it's going to get more bullish over time. If you look at the Supichi clouds, you can see that again, the same thing is going to enter the cloud that is just being formed over here. You have a very nice bullish, you know, taking a kitchen across here in the two week chart here as well. And you can see that the wells are just increasing, increasing here on the two week chart. So retail is really not seen on like a lower time frame chart like this. So it's looking pretty decent, looking pretty bullish for. Robin, if you look at the weekly chart, again, I'm going to pull up the Ishimoku cloud here. Price is about the Tenkin line. Very nice bull trend so far. With the Supeichi, same thing, right? It got above the Supeichi cloud over here, breakthrough over here, and whales are very, very strong so far. Not much retail over here on the weekly. All these are very positive sign bull in Japan. Not really contracting that much, but it just looks like it wants to have a bullish continuation. And it looks like it tried to bounce off the Bullman Support Band. It couldn't even touch it. This is how bullish Robin, Robin Hood is. It couldn't even get to Bullman Support Band. It just wanted to bounce and go higher. This is a pretty you know, bullish look for um, Robin Hood over here. If you pull up the GAN, again, this is a best fit GAN. It's not a mathematical GAN. But what you're going to see here is really very simple. Price broke about this arc over here. Got the next arc, got rejected. And then eventually broke through here in high volume. Whales came in. 
back tested the arc down here, broke through the arc up above, back tested the arc, got rejected up here, right? At this horizontal zone over here, right? Got back above, so far I might end up back testing the, the line over here before going higher to challenge the next arc, which is gonna be around maybe high 20s. And also this line over here is just gonna be around 35. All this is gonna serve as potential resistance. And also the target, a lot of people are gonna end up taking profits around here. Can it go up a lot higher after that, after it breaks these zones? Sure, it can go up to the next arc, which is gonna be around like the high 40s to like 50 or something like that. And if you keeps on going, where is the cycle going to end? Is it going to end at 55? Is it going to end at 60? Is it going to end at around 68? All of these are possible targets up here, right? So we'll see, we'll have to take one thing at a time. So far, there's no trend of exhaustion and wells are still coming in. So it's looking pretty decent for um, this Robin Hood stock over here. Now, I do want to make a separate video about whales in, uh, and price targets. As well as using all these indicators over here to look at different miners. I do want to make that a separate video because this video is already 20 minutes long. Um, so thank you so much for, for listening. Have a good one. Bye.